The Mariana Trench is the deepest trench in the ocean. Its lowest point is known as the Challenger Deep that has a maximum depth of more than 36,000 feet below the ocean surface. In fact, it's so deep that it's deeper than the highest mountain is tall. If you take Mount Everest and place it in the Mariana Trench, its peak would still be more than one mile underwater. Aside from its astounding depth, it's also believed to be one of the most ancient seabeds on Earth, aged approximately 180 million years old. With these being said, there are a lot of mysterious creatures lurking in the Mariana Trench that are so elusive that not a lot of people know about them. From sea pigs to terrifying goblin sharks, here are 15 mysterious things found in the Mariana Trench. Number 15. Sea Pigs I can't decide whether the sea pig is adorable, terrifying, or just plain weird. Sea pigs are a type of sea cucumber that continuously look for decaying organisms on the ocean floor. The deep part of the Mariana Trench is the perfect home for these secretive and mysterious creatures. They thrive in the deepest, darkest, and coldest parts of the ocean, and for this reason, they're very difficult to study. Even though we've known about sea pigs for more than 100 years, little is known about them. Sea pigs earned their name not only because of their color, but also because of their oval-shaped bodies and puffy, plump legs. These creatures can fit in the palm of your hand, as they only grow up to six inches long. They get around on the seafloor, and they would often congregate around decaying goo. They may look cute for some, but that impression will change after knowing that aside from eating decayed matter, they also host several weird parasites, including small snails and crustaceans that create holes in their bodies to feed inside them. Oh, and they'll basically disintegrate if you pull them towards the surface. From squishy creatures, they'll be reduced to this pinkish mush. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Fangtooth Fish It's pretty easy to see how the fangtooth fish got its name. These creatures have mouths lined up with long, razor-sharp teeth that make it easy for them to catch pretty much any prey in the deep sea. This fish really looks like it just swam right out of someone's nightmare. These creatures haunt the waters at depths of over 16,000 feet, but they're also known to migrate towards the surface during nighttime to catch crustaceans and other fish. They might look like a monster, but despite their grotesque appearance, their size makes them less terrifying. Fangtooth fish only grow up to a maximum length of six inches long, with their heads taking up a huge portion of their bodies and earning them the nickname ogre fish. Unlike the sea pig, the fangtooth fish is more robust. Most deep sea creatures perish when pulled towards the surface, but scientists are able to keep fangtooths in captivity to study and observe them. Number 13. Granrojo Jellyfish The Granrojo Jellyfish might look terrifying, but they're actually one of the most remarkable creatures that reside in the abyss. These creatures live at incredible depths of up to 4,800 feet below the surface, and so they're rarely seen by people. Unlike most of the jellyfish that we see near the surface, the Gran Rojo jellyfish has quite the distinct appearance. These jellyfish are usually red in color, and instead of tentacles, they have four to seven arms that are thick and fleshy. They can grow over three feet in diameter, and so they'd be hard to miss if you ever came across one. Just like other deep sea creatures, the appearance of the Gran Rojo jellyfish make them look like they're not of this world. Little is known about them still, and researchers continue to make efforts to study them. Number 12. Frilled Shark With their rough and dinosaur-like appearance, the frilled shark is what many would call a living fossil. Frilled sharks got their name because of their gills, which form a red fringe around their necks. These creatures are rarely seen by people, but upon seeing one up close, you'll surely think that they're living dinosaurs. Technically, it's only right to compare them to dinosaurs, because just like the extinct creatures, frilled sharks themselves have existed for millions of years. And yet, we only captured footage of them in 2004. That's how good they are at hiding. Frilled sharks don't really look like their more popular kin. Instead of looking like a great white, these creatures resemble a snake or eel with their long, smooth bodies that move in a serpentine way. They also have snake-like features with their deep-set eyes and snout. Once they open their mouths, you'll see just how terrifying they can be. While the deadly great white shark is equipped with 300 triangular teeth, the frilled shark has more than 300 thin and needle-like teeth angled backwards. 
At first glance, you would think that they're toothless because of how their bizarre teeth are arranged. You don't need to worry, though. Frilled sharks stay in the deepest and coldest parts of the ocean. They don't really pose a threat to humans, excluding scientists. You see, their teeth are so sharp that it's easy to cut yourself on them. Their skin is also chisel-shaped, which can be quite rough and sharp. Also, we don't really know how many of them exist in the deep waters. Some frilled shark specimens have been captured, but they aren't known to survive in captivity. It appears that no matter how fearsome they look, they can only thrive in their cold and high-pressure environment. Scientists theorize that the frilled shark is endangered because of their extremely slow reproduction habits. Number 11. Vampire Squid Here's another alien-like creature found in the deep waters of the Mariana Trench. Despite their name and appearance, the vampire squid is neither an octopus or a squid. Because of their unique characteristics, these creatures have been singled out by scientists into their own unique group. I don't know if it can be considered special treatment though, because the scientists gave them a name that literally translates to Vampire Squid of Hell. Looking at them, I guess it's a fitting name. The vampire squid has eight arms, two tentacles, and large freaky multicolored eyes. In fact, these creatures have the largest eyes in comparison to their body size. Obviously, the vampire squid isn't an actual vampire. They don't drink blood, and despite their monstrous appearance and equally monstrous name, they're the only cephalopods that do not eat live animals. They only feed on debris in the water, which includes fecal pellets and dead planktonic creatures. When feeling threatened, the vampire squid will invert its cape and display huge spines attached under its arms. It looks terrifying, but they're actually harmless. Also, considering that their predators include whales, vicious sea lions, and other large fish, they aren't really that monstrous. Number 10. Zombie Worms Unlike the zombies you know of, the zombie worms don't crave brains. They aren't the undead either. Zombie worms are creatures that live nearly 10,000 feet underwater. I can only imagine how terrified the first person that discovered them was. These guys were first seen covering a huge rotting gray whale on the deep sea floor in 2002. Unlike scavengers in the ocean, these zombie worms crave for a unique menu. They consume the bones of dead creatures in the ocean depths. In fact, their scientific name literally means bone devourer. Instead of minerals, these worms prefer the fats within the bone. But wait, they get more terrifying. The zombie worms don't have a mouth or a stomach to consume and digest the bone they eat. Instead, they secrete an acid from their skin that dissolves the bone. Once the fat and the protein inside is separated, the zombie worms would get the assistance of some tiny helpers. Zombie worms have tiny bacteria living inside their bodies, and they're the ones responsible for consuming and processing the protein and mineral from the bone. However, we still don't know how exactly zombie worms get nutrients from the bacteria inside their bodies. It's easy to get the heebie-jeebies once you see a huge group of zombie worms drilled in a random rotting skeleton in the ocean. They really don't discriminate between bones, and they will most likely consume a human bone if they ever find one. You don't really need to worry about them though, because unless you're already rotting, these creatures will stay at the bottom of the ocean and won't actively try to go after you. Number 9. Deep Sea Lizard Fish One look is all it takes for anyone to be terrified of the appearance of the deep sea lizard fish. This creature lives at depths of 2,000 to more than 11,000 feet. This creature only grows up to 25 inches long, but despite its small size, it's still imposing enough because its large mouth is lined with needle-like teeth. What would you even do if you came face to face with this deep sea fish? Their massive protruding teeth and dark eyes are enough to make you scream and swim away from them as fast as you can. Their teeth are their most distinct feature. While sharks are considered to be the apex predators nearest to the surface, the deep sea lizard fish is also on top of the food chain in its own habitat. They're also effortless when it comes to hunting. Just like crocodiles, they patiently wait with their mouth open, waiting for the next unfortunate prey to swim right into their open mouth. They aren't really picky when it comes to their prey. They'll gladly eat other fish, crustaceans, and even their own kind. I mean, because they live in the so-called midnight zone of the ocean where food is scarce, they can't be choosy when it comes to their meals. Aside from their weird appearance, of course they need another weird feature to make them qualified as a deep sea monster. Lizard fish are hermaphrodites. 
which means they can produce both male and female gametes at the same time. Through this, they can easily mate with another lizardfish they come across, rather than searching the vast dark waters searching for another lizardfish of the opposite gender. Number 8. Gulper Eel Lurking in the deepest parts of the ocean at a depth of around 3,000 to 26,000 feet is the monstrous gulper eel, also known as a pelican eel. Usually, the eels that we see can be pretty unnerving, but the gulper eel is on another level of monstrosity. The gulper eel is certainly bizarre looking. They have a long eel-like body, but it's incredibly thin compared to their heads and their mouth. The mouth of the gulper eel is loosely hinged, which means they can open it wide enough to swallow an animal bigger than itself. Its appearance will really remind you of a pelican with its pouch-like lower jaw. In fact, even the stomach of the gulper eel is stretchable and can easily hold a large amount of food. Despite being able to physically accommodate many ocean creatures, the favorite meal of the gulper eel are still crustaceans found on the ocean floor. Number 7. Viperfish This is another small monster lurking in the Mariana Trench. The viperfish can be found at depths between 250 to 5,000 feet. They stay very deep underwater during the daytime, and they come to the shallower depths of the water to search and hunt for prey. If you don't think they're scary, take a look at their needle-like teeth. These creatures can only grow up to 23.5 inches long, and they aren't really up to par with the giants usually found underwater. The viperfish is more black in color, up to the point that they almost become invisible to their prey which makes it easier for them to catch and consume prey. They also have another trick up their sleeve when it comes to tricking prey. These guys have light-producing organs called photospheres on the sides of their bodies. They use these organs to produce blinking lights that attract the attention of the unfortunate fish that will soon become their snack. The moment the unlucky creature comes close to their mouth, this ferocious deep-sea creature will easily devour them. Number 6. Tardigrades I would bet that this is the most unexpected creature you'll encounter in this video. Introducing the tardigrade. There's a lot to unpack when it comes to this creature. I'd bet that by the end of this video, you'll also find these creatures endearing. First of all, the tardigrade is a microscopic animal that's impossible to see using our naked eyes. This creature is only about 5 millimeters long, and yet they seem to survive pretty much anything. Tardigrades are eight-legged animals that seem to thrive even in extreme environments. They're also called water bears because after getting over your initial shock of their alien-like appearance, you'll see that they resemble adorable miniature bears, especially while looking at them moving under the microscope. There's an abundance of tardigrade species found worldwide. There are about 1,300 species of them, and almost every single one has a high chance to survive the apocalypse. They might be small, but they're extremely durable and robust. Don't be fooled by their squishy and cute appearance because they can survive in boiling water, freezing environments, and even in places that you would think are impossible to live in. They're identified as extremophiles, and they also thrive even in the darkest and deepest trench of the Earth. In fact, they can even survive in the vacuum of space. They're pretty cool, right? Well, their awesomeness doesn't stop there. Water bears consume liquid from plant matter and algae, as well as larger organisms, including other tardigrades. However, if they really need to, they can survive without eating or drinking for up to 30 years. That's some extreme resilience. They're pretty much indestructible. Of course, tardigrades reproduce in quite a weird way. They can reproduce with or without a mate. Their eggs take around 40 to 90 days to hatch. While well, these guys have been on Earth for about 600 million years already, which means they precede the dinosaurs by about 400 million years. Indestructible, adaptable, adorable, and cute, tardigrades may be the most amazing creatures on the planet. Number 5. Alien-like Anglerfish The anglerfish is a carnivorous deep-sea creature that is known for their rod-like lure located on top of their heads. The light coming from their lure is probably their only redeeming feature. These creatures come in all shapes and sizes, and the term anglerfish is actually used to describe a variety of fish families. Upon seeing one, your first thought will probably be to move as far away from them as possible. Their habits fit their hideous appearance. These guys are known to be chill when it comes to the food they're eating. They aren't choosy when it comes to their next meal, and they'll eat pretty much anything. In fact, they'll even consume old dead fish or other dead matter lying on the ocean floor. 
They're also known to slurp snails living on the bedrock. I guess you can't really be choosy when it comes to your food when you're living in a place where food is scarce. Take a look at this rare hairy anglerfish that seemed as if he had a huge feast before being captured by researchers. And now it's time for today's topic. We all know just how extreme the environment is in the Mariana Trench, but despite this fact, life seems to be very abundant even in the darkest and deepest point. Expeditions have found a myriad of ocean creatures living out their lives at the bottom of the seafloor. Some of them are so bizarre and otherworldly that it's hard to believe that they're actually creatures found on our planet. It isn't really hard to believe that there are more monstrous creatures living underwater that treat the trench their home, waiting to be discovered. This photo was allegedly taken in deep waters. It shows a dolphin-like creature, but with the presence of what appears to be arms and hands. Deep sea camera systems captured a lot of creatures and helped the researchers a lot in recent years. This time, it looks like they captured what no one was supposed to see. This photo is similar to the description of an alleged creature called Ningen. It's described to be at least 20 meters long and has similarities to a whale, except it has human-like features like arms and hands. Do you really think this creature exists? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Proboscis Worm This is the proboscis worm, also known as the ribbon worm. There are approximately 900 known species of them, and most of them reside in the ocean. Some are known to grow up to a mere 8 inches, while some can also grow up to a staggering length of 100 feet. They can either look like shoelaces, or they can look like a pile of intestines on the ocean floor. They're already pretty creepy to look at, but wait until you see how they catch their prey. The ribbon worm can shoot out white webs to catch their prey. These are actually muscles which can come out when their body contracts to attack something. Oh, and they can also swallow their prey whole. You don't need to worry though, because we aren't really on the menu. Number 3. Dumbo Octopus Most being cute and cuddly, the Dumbo Octopus is arguably the most adorable animal living in depths of about 10,000 to 13,000 feet. Who knew that such a cute creature could survive in an area where even the sunlight fails to reach? I mean, just look at them. Their mannerisms and their ear-like fins make them a joy to look at. In fact, even scientists couldn't help but adore them when they observed these guys through a deep sea camera. You really gotta brace yourself with an assault of cuteness when studying these guys. The Dumbo octopus have semi-translucent bodies. They come in various shapes and colors. Some of them are short, some of them longer than the others, and their colors range from brown to yellow to purple. Most of them grow up to 12 inches in length, but the largest one was about 6 feet 32 inches long and about 13 pounds. Despite their cute appearance, they're fierce when it comes to hunting their prey, which includes isopods, worms, and amphipods. It's such a shame that they can only survive in the deepest depths of the ocean. Still, I gotta thank modern technology for letting us witness these creatures flapping their Dumbo ear-like fins to move around the ocean. Number 2. Telescope Octopus Transparent, gelatinous, and terrifying. This is the Telescope Octopus. If you wanted to take home one of the Dumbo Octopus, then you'll surely stray away from these creatures. Just like the Dumbo Octopus, the Telescope Octopus can be found deep in the ocean at depths between 500 to 6,500 feet. They can pretty much turn their entire bodies invisible, except for two parts, their digestive glands and their eyes. Their weird and bizarre looking eyes. You can pretty much already see where this creature got their name. Their eyes can pop out of their head and are completely movable. In fact, it's the only species of octopus that has rotating telescopic eyes. Number 1. Goblin Shark the goblin shark is a rare deep-sea creature that hails from a family which dates back over 125 million years ago. Remember the frilled sharks earlier that are considered to be living fossils? You can say that goblin sharks are pretty much the same because of how long they've existed on Earth. The goblin shark can live up to 35 years, and they survive by eating fish, crustaceans, and cephalopods in the deep waters. They're pretty interesting creatures. Goblin sharks are slow-moving sharks that can grow up to 12 feet long and weigh up to 460 pounds. Their snout and their jaws make them very different. 
While these physical features help them catch their prey easily, it also makes them look hideous and terrifying. Don't worry though, because aside from their gnarly appearance, they pose no danger to humans. Which of these deep sea creatures is your favorite? And do you agree with me that the goblin shark is the most terrifying? Let me know about your thoughts in the comments down below. Also feel free to drop down any trivia you know about the Mariana Trench. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.